All right, man, peace. Brothers and sisters, I have another statement of the Imam Mahdi to read today. You will find the link in the description. If it pleases you to listen, listen. If it pleases you to go and read, go and read. From the Imam Mahdi Khalifa of Allah on earth, Nasr Muhammad al-Yemeni, to the entire nation of Christian supporters of the Messiah. Among the worlds of the Arab and the foreign, and peace be upon who followed the guidance of the worlds. O community of the Christians, I am the Mahdi Nasr Muhammad al-Yemeni, inviting you and the people all together to the Islamic religion that Allah sent with it his messenger, the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. Forgiveness and peace be upon him. And I invite you and the people all together to what invited you to it, Allah's messenger, the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. Forgiveness and peace be upon him. And Allah the Most High said, Certainly, they disbelieve who say, Allah, he is the Messiah, son of Mary. And the Messiah said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Surely, whoever associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden to him the garden, and his abode is the fire. And for the wrongdoers, there will be no helpers. Truthful Allah, the great Al-Ma'ida. As that the awaited Imam Mahdi invites all the humans to what Allah's Messenger, the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, invited you to. And prayer of forgiveness be upon him. Worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Surely, whoever associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden to him the garden, and his abode is the fire. And for the wrongdoers, there will be no helpers. Truthful Allah the Great, Al Ma'idah. As well, the awaited Mahdi invites all humans to the same thing Allah's Messenger Muhammad, prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon him, invited you to. And I say what Allah commanded him to say it to the humans Worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Surely, Whoever associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden to him the garden, and his abode is the fire. And for the wrongdoers, there will be no helpers. Truthful Allah the Great. And I invite you all, the humans, to what invited them to it, Allah's Messenger Moses and Aaron. Prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon them. Worship Allah. My Lord and your Lord, surely whoever associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden to him the garden and his abode is the fire. And for the wrongdoers, there will be no helpers. Truthful Allah the Great. And I am the awaited Mahdi, inviting all humans to what invited them to it, all messengers from the first of them to the seal of them, my grandfather, Muhammad, messenger of Allah. Prayer of Allah's forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon him and his family. And I say the same word of Allah's messengers all together. Worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Surely whoever associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden to him the garden and his abode is the fire. And for the wrongdoers, there will be no helpers. Truthful Allah the Great. Allah did not make the awaited Mahdi a new prophet, nor did I bring you a, no, a new book. In fact, I invite you with the same invitation of all the prophets and messengers. And it is that you worship my Lord and your Lord and whoever associated with Allah. His work indeed is vain, is in vain. And in the hereafter, he is of the losers. And you would never find the awaited Mahdi apart a measure of a hair strand from the invitation of all the prophets and messengers to worshipping Allah alone with no partner for him. And Allah the Most High said, And we sent 
no messenger before you, but we reveal to him that there is no God but me. So worship me. Truthful Allah, the great Al-Anbiya. I am the Imam Mahdi. I issue a fatwa in truth that all the Christians, Jews, and Muslims have associated with Allah, his prophets, and his messengers. So they magnified them without right, except those on whom my Lord has mercy. Perhaps one scholar of the Muslims roars as if he is a lion, so he says, O oh, you the awaited Mahdi, how do you rule against us with association with Allah? So you make us like the Christians whom they said that the Messiah is the son of Allah. Glory be to him. And as well the Jews said, O Zayr, son of Allah. As for us, the Muslims, surely we did not magnify Muhammad, messenger of Allah, forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon him and his family. And we bear witness that Muhammad is Allah's servant and his messenger. And we bear witness that the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, is Allah's servant and his messenger. And we bear witness that Ozair, Moses, Aaron, David, and Solomon, all of them are Allah's prophets and his servants and his messengers. So how do you rule against us in associating with Allah along with them? So are we equal in comparison? Then the awaited Mahdi Nasr Muhammad al-Yemeni replies to him and I say, O oh, you the smarty scholar Muslim, answer me with truth. Do you see that it is permissible for you to compete with Muhammad, messenger of Allah, in Allah's love and his nearness? Or do you see that it is not permissible for you so answer me by the truth, if you are of the truthful ones. Then roars against us this Muslim scholar, whether he is of the Shiites, or of the Sunnis, or from any of the Islamic doctrines, so he says, Keep your duty to Allah, O Nasr Muhammad al-Yemeni. Surely, you are an insolent liar, and not the awaited Mahdi. So how do you want me to pull up my sleeves to compete with Muhammad, messenger of Allah in Allah's love and his nearness, while he is Muhammad, messenger of Allah? Prayer of Allah's uh, forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family. A noble master of the prophets and messengers and the seal of the prophets and messenger of the Lord of the worlds with the grand Quran to mankind and jinn altogether. Don't you see that Allah just added his name to him so the people say no God but Allah, Muhammad, messenger of Allah? So this is magnification to his level with his Lord that added to his name Allah, Muhammad, messenger of Allah, forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon him and his family. And for that the Muslims say no God but Allah, Muhammad, messenger of Allah. Then the awaited Mahdi replies to them and I say, Have you made the testimony by the truth exclusively to Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon him and his family, and made a split between Allah's messengers? So if you made the true testimony exclusively to Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, in your claim that Allah added his name to his name, no God but Allah, Muhammad, Messenger of Allah. Therefore, what did the Muslims say who followed Allah's Messenger Noah, forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon him? They were saying, whoever submitted of them, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Noah is the Messenger of Allah. Forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon him and his family. Thus, whom they had bear witness by the truth from the thus whom they had bear witness by the truth from the all of the muslims whom they followed the call of the prophets to islam allah's religion and they witnessed for allah in mono, in the monotheism 
So they worshipped Allah alone with no partner for him. O community of the illiterate Muslims, followers of my grandfather, Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon him and his family, I call on Allah to bear witness the true certain testimony that I did not wrong you and that if you limited the competition to the Lord, whoever of them is most loved and closest, exclusively to his prophets and messengers without the righteous, surely you have associated with Allah and there is no difference between you and the polytheists of the Christians and the Jews as long as you refuse to compete with Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon him and his family, in Allah's love and his nearness. But I am the awaited Mahdi, announcing to all of the humans absolute disbelief in magnifying the prophets, messengers, and the awaited Mahdi without right. In fact, all the prophets, messengers, and the awaited Mahdi we are not but merely servants competing with one another to the worship Lord. And we do not associate a thing with Allah, nor we magnify each other besides Allah. In fact, we compete to the worship Lord, which one of us is the most loved and the closest. Indeed, by Allah, who there is no God other than him, nor a worshipped else than him, it should not be for me as a submitter to Allah to forsake the competition to my Lord, exclusively to my grandfather, Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, and all of the prophets in the book. Forgiveness and peace of Allah be upon them and their families altogether. And it should not be for the true awaited Mahdi from your Lord to forsake the competition to the worship Lord for Gabriel and the brought close angels of the all merciful. In fact, I am the awaited Mahdi calling on Allah to bear witness true and certain testimony that is only Muhammad messenger of Allah and the Messiah, Jesus son of Mary and all the prophets, messengers and the brought near angels of the merciful are not but servants competing to the worship Lord as Allah issued a fatwa to you about how is their worship to the Lord in his decisive book, the Grand Quran. And Allah the Most High said, they seek al-wasila, the means of access to their Lord. Whoever of them is nearest and they hope for his mercy and fear his chastisement. Truthful Allah the Great, Al-Ezra O community of scholars of the Muslims and their nation But you are magnifying Allah's prophets without right So as long as you believe that it is not permissible For the righteous to compete with the prophets and the messengers To the nearest degree to Allah, Lord of the worlds Surely you have associated with Allah and we do not differentiate between you and the people of the book as long as you associated with Allah and you magnified Allah's prophets unjustly. But I am the awaited Mahdi. I disbelieve in the limiting the competition to the worship Lord for the prophets and messengers in absolute disbelief until I meet Allah with a sound heart that does not associate a thing with Allah. They only, Allah's servants, are like you. They do not differ from you except in keeping the duty in their worship to their Lord. And they do not associate with Allah a thing because they seek al-wasila, means of nearness to the Lord. And they had strived in his cause, whoever of them is nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his chastisement. So if you responded to the invitation of all the prophets and messengers to worship the worship Lord and the competition with all the servants to the worship Lord, which of you is the closest? So if you responded, then you just found the guidance and kept your duty to Allah, Lord of the worlds, and had seeking and have seeked al-wasila, means of nearness to him, and, and seek 
sorry, and seek al wasila means of nearness to him, and strive in his way by inviting others to him. Whoever of you is the most loved and nearest, confirming with the word of Allah the Most High, <coughs> O you who believe, keep your duty to Allah and seek al wasila means of nearness to him, and strive hard in his way that you may be successful. Truthful Allah the Great, Al Ma'ida. In a sense that Allah commands you to be included among the competing servants to the worship Lord. Whoever of them is nearest, so you worship Allah as worship him the competing prophets and messengers to their Lord. Whoever of them is nearest, confirming with the word of Allah the Most High, those whom they call upon, they seek al-wasila, the means of access to their Lord. Whoever of them is nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his chastisement. Surely, the chastisement of your Lord is a thing to be cautious of. Truthful Allah the Great, Al-Ezra. Do you know what Allah the Most High meant in his word? those whom they call upon? That's because you hope the intercession for you between the hands of Allah and you left the competition to Allah to them exclusively without the righteous ones. Surely you are calling on them besides Allah as long as you want from them to intercede from you between the hands of Allah and for that Allah the Most High said, Say, Call on those whom you assert besides him. They have no power to remove distress from you, nor to change. Those whom they call upon, they seek al-wasila, the means of access to their Lord. Whoever of them is nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his chastisement. Surely, the chastisement of your Lord is a thing to be cautious of. Truthful Allah the Great, al Ezra, And Allah the Most High said, And who is in greater error than he who invokes besides Allah, such as answer him not till the day of resurrection? And they are heedless of their call. And when men are gathered together, they will be their enemies and will deny their worshipping them. Truthful Allah the Great, al akhaf Look at Allah's word, the Most High. And when men are gathered together, they will be their enemies and will deny their worshipping them. Truthful Allah the Great, that's because the honoured prophets do not know that you made them alone exclusively without the righteous ones. And you hope for the intercession between the hands of Allah, who is most merciful to you than his servants. Glory be to him, the most exalted, greatly beyond measures. So come along to look at the reply of the prophets and the messengers and the honored imams, whom they magnified them with no right. So they exaggerated in them unjustly after their death. So they do not know what the Muslims did after them. And Allah the Most High said, And on the day when we gather them all together, then we shall say to those who associated others with Allah, Keep where you are, you and your associate gods. Then we shall separate them from one another, and their associates will say, It was not us that you served. So Allah suffices as a witness between us and you that we were quite unaware of your serving us. There will every soul become acquainted with what it sent before, and they will be brought back to Allah, their true patron. And that which they devised will escape from them. Truthful Allah the Great, Yunus. As for others, they surely worship the angels whom they lied against them that they are from Allah's honored servants. 
and they were not angels of the all-merciful. In fact, from the tyrant, rebellious, satanic jinn. And surely they were not of the brought near angels of the all-merciful. And Allah the Most High said, And on the day when he will gather them all together, then he will say to the angels, Did these worship you? They will say, Glory be to you. You are our protecting friend. Not they, nay, they worship the jinn. Most of them were believers in them. Truthful Allah the Great, Sabah. And the owners of the idols surely just knew that they were not worshipping a thing except a statue. They crafted it with their hands, and Allah the Most High said, Do you not see those who dispute concerning the messages of Allah? How are they turned away? Those who reject the book and that with which we have sent our messengers? But they shall soon know, when the fetters are on their necks and the chains, they are dragged into hot water, then in the fire they are burned. Then it is said to them, Where is that which you used to set up besides Allah? They will say, They have failed us. Nay, we used not to call upon anything before. Thus does Allah confound the disbelievers. That is because you exalted in the land unjustly and because you behaved insolently. Enter the gates of hell to abide therein. So evil is the abode of the proud. Therefore be patient. Surely the promise of Allah is true. But whether we make you see part of what we threaten them with or we cause thee to die, to us shall they be returned. And certainly we sent messengers before you. Of them are those we have mentioned to you and of them are those we have not mentioned to you. Nor was it possible for a messenger to bring a sign except with Allah's permission. So when Allah's command comes, Judgment is given with truth, and those who treat it as a lie are lost. Truthful Allah the Great, Gaffer. As for a party of humans, surely they worship Satan while they know. So they are not astray unwillingly. In fact, they know that they are upon manifest falsehood. Those are worshippers of al tagut Satan. And they know that he is Angel Harut, and his host Marut, and their offspring Gog and Magog. Surely, those whom the wrath is brought down upon in the book. And they would be gathered, and, they, and what they worship besides Allah and their wives of the female Satans to the hellfire to, altogether. Confirming with the word of Allah, the Most High. Gather together those who did wrong and their associates. And what they worshipped besides Allah, then lead them the way to hell. And Allah, the Most High said, Surely by your Lord, we shall certainly gather them together. And Satan's then we shall bring them around hell on their knees. Then we shall draw forth from every sect those most rebellious against the All-Merciful. Again, we certainly know best those who deserve most to be burned therein. Truthful Allah the Great, Maryam. These are the most deserving to be burned in hellfire because they worship al taqut Satan. So they took him a loyal friend, forsaking Allah while they know that he is the outcast Satan, the enemy of Allah and his messengers. And they worship the female Satans and they sexually mate with them. So they gave birth to a species of Magog. And their father is from the humans and their mothers are from the female Satans. These are the human Satans among you. Surely they know what they are doing 
and I did not wrong them a thing. And Allah the Most High said, Besides him, they call on nothing but female divinities, and they call on nothing but a rebellious Satan. Your servants, uh, whom Allah has cursed, and he said, Certainly, I will take of your servants an appointed portion, and certainly I will lead them astray and excite them in vain desires, and bid them so that they will slit the heirs of the cattle, and bid them so that they will alter Allah's creation. And whoever takes Satan for a friend, forsaking Allah, he indeed suffers a manifest loss. He promises them and excites vain desires in them, and Satan promises them only to deceive. These, their refuge is hell, and they will find no way of escape, of escape from it. Truthful Allah the Great, Al-Nisa. O people, keep your duty to your Lord who created you, and do not associate a thing with Allah. Surely I am a clear warner to you from him. And I call on Allah, Lord of the worlds, to bear witness that all what is in the heavens and the earth are not but servants. So forsake worshipping them altogether and worship Allah alone with no partner for him. Indeed, many of the nations strayed and did not believe in Allah, except for a few of his servants. And unfortunately, most of those believers are associating with Allah except a few of Allah's honored servants. And the reason of the believers' association with their Allah is their magnification to, the, to Allah's prophets and his messengers until they made Allah exclusively for the prophets and messengers without the righteous ones. So they left the competition with the servants to the worship Lord and Allah the Most High said, and most of them do not believe in Allah without associating others with him. Truthful Allah the Great, Yusuf. O people, I am the awaited Imam Mahdi and Allah's curse is on the liars. Selected me Allah, Lord of the worlds, him alone with no partner for him. And he associates none in his judgment. And it is not possible for you to select Allah's Khalifa besides him, if only you knew. And I call on Allah to bear witness the true certain testimony that I am the awaited Imam Mahdi. Who responds to the call of all the prophets and the messengers and Nasira, a supporter to their call altogether. And I am the Imam Mahdi from of who believe from who followed Allah's messenger Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, upon them the best of forgiveness and peace. And I am the Imam Mahdi from the followers of all the prophets and all messengers altogether even if I was not in their error. That's because I am Nasira, a supporter to their call. So I call to what they call to, to worship Allah alone with no partner for him. I do not associate with Allah a thing. In fact, I worship what they worship. And was Abraham a messenger of Allah, forgiveness and peace, be upon him from the followers of Allah's messenger Noah while he was not in his error. And Allah the Most High said, Peace be to Noah among the nations. Thus indeed do we reward the doers of good. Surely he was of our believing servants. Then we drowned the others, and surely of his followers was Abraham. When he came to his Lord with a secure heart, when he said to his sire and his people, What is it that you worship? A lie? Gods besides Allah do you desire?
What is then your idea about the Lord of the worlds, truthful Allah the Great, Al Safat? Indeed, we worship one God, no God other than Him, nor a worshipped else than Him. Allah, Lord of the worlds, Lord of the heavens and the earth, if you only being certain. So listen, obey, and worship Allah, Him alone, and compete racing upon his love and his nearness. If you only love Allah and compete to Allah, whoever of you is the closest, and be included among his competing servants of the prophets and the honored righteous ones, and the awaited Mahdi, the manifest Imam, who Allah granted him knowledge of the book to teach you what you were not knowing. So if believed in me and obeyed my command, then you magnify the awaited Mahdi. So you believe that it is not possible for you to compete with Allah's Khalifa in Allah's love and his nearness. It is then that you had just forsake, forsaken Allah for me alone, that I worship him. While you associated and I would never avail a thing from Allah against you, then Allah would chastise you an exemplary chastisement. So you burn in the blazing hellfire. And you would never find for yourselves a loyal friend or a helper besides Allah. So what is wrong with you, O community of the believers? Is it whenever Allah sent you a messenger, surely you either belie his call to worship Allah alone with no partner for him? Or you believe him, so you magnify them after their death, then exaggerate in them unjustly? So you beseech the intercession from them between the hands of Allah and you disbelieve that Allah is the most merciful than all who have mercy. So who is the one that is more merciful in you than Allah? So you hope for their intercession between the hands of Allah? Who, who he is the most merciful in, in his servants than his servants altogether? Allah the most merciful than all who have mercy. Don't you keep guard? O oh, community of the Christians, if the Muslims turned away from the cult of the awaited Mahdi, so be from whom that Allah said about them, O oh, you who believe, should any one of you turn back from his religion, then Allah will bring a people who he loves and who love him, humble towards the believers, mighty against the disbelievers, striving hard in Allah's way, and not fearing the censure of any censurer. This is Allah's grace. He gives it to whom he pleases, and Allah is ample giving, knowing. Truthful Allah the Great, al Maida. And I announce to you the good news about Allah's servant and his honored messenger, the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, Forgiveness and peace be upon him and his mother and the family of Imran. Surely he is with us in Yemen, the peace arch, the casket of tranquility. And the Jews did not kill him, nor crucified him, but you do not know. In fact, Allah reclaimed his soul and raised him as a soul to him and purified his body from those who disbelieve and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. And the angels placed his body in the casket of tranquility, the peace arch, and surely we are truthful, and completed adding him to the, com to the companions of the cave, and that is Al-Rahim, the added number to the companions of the cave. So they all to be from Allah's the, they all are to be from Allah's wonderful signs, and only Al Rahim is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. Forgiveness and peace be upon him, and his mother, and the family of Imran. And the reality of the body of the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, is found in the fact in the facts of the first ten verses from Surah Al Kaf, chapter eighteen in the most honorable Quran. O community of Christians, you have no knowledge of it. Indeed, they did not kill him, nor crucified him. And Allah the Most High said, 
In the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Most Merciful. Praise be to Allah who revealed the book to his servant and allowed not therein any crookedness. Rightly directing, to, rightly directing to give warning of severe punishment from him and to give good news to the believers who do good that theirs is a goodly reward. Staying in it forever and to warn those who say Allah has taken to himself a son. They have no knowledge of it, nor had their fathers. Grievous is the word that comes out of their mouths. They speak nothing but a lie. Then maybe you will kill yourself with grief, sorrowing after them if they believe not in this announcement. Surely we have made whatever is on the earth an embellishment for it, so that we may try which of them is best in works. And we shall surely make what is on it dust without herbage. Or do you think that the companions of the cave and the inscription were of our wonderful signs? Truthful Allah, the great Al-Qaf. O community of Christians, I am warning you in an extreme mighty punishment from Allah. So do not say Allah took a son and you have no knowledge in it, nor had your fathers, and they did not crucify him. In fact, Allah raised his soul to him and purified his body from whom they disbelieved, and they did not touch him with harm. So that is Al-Rakim, the added number to the companions of the cave, to be with them from Allah's wonderful signs to you from yourselves. And Allah will resurrect him to Allah will resurrect him, so believe him, O community of Christians and Muslims. Allah will protect you from the liar Messiah, the Antichrist, who he wants to say that he is the Messiah Jesus, and to say that he is Allah, Lord of the worlds, and was not for the Messiah Jesus, son of Mary, to say what he has no right. And as he spoke to the people in the cradle, he will speak to the people in the maturity by the truth and he would call them to what he called them to it the awaited Mahdi surely we utter one unified speech no God other than Allah alone with no partner for him nor a worshipped else than him an equitable word among all the prophets messengers awaited Mahdi and the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, forgiveness of peace be upon them. And he will say to you what he said it to whom were before you. Certainly they disbelieve who say, Allah, he is the Messiah, son of Mary. And the Messiah said, O children of Israel, serve Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Surely whoever associates others with Allah Allah has forbidden to him the garden and his abode is the fire. And for the wrongdoers, there will be no helpers. Truthful Allah the Great, Al-Ma'idah. So whoever disbelieved in the call of the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, prayer of Allah's forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family, surely he just disbelieved in the call of Muhammad, messenger of Allah. Prayer of Allah's forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family. And whoever disbelieved in the call of the awaited Mahdi, surely he just believed, disbelieved in the call of Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, and the Messiah, Jesus, Son of Mary. Forgiveness of and peace of Allah be upon them and who followed them. Who came with a sound, safe heart from association with Allah, Lord of the Worlds? Only the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, and Muhammad, messenger of Allah, and the awaited Mahdi, all of us are servants of Allah like you. So do not exaggerate in your religion without the truth. And whoever associates with Allah, he just strayed a far astray. And Allah is a witness and a guardian upon what I say. As for the severe punishment that I warned from it, whom they said Allah took a son indeed, it just came 
the far long time of it and has approached the planet of chastisement, Sakar, the passing by the humans uh, from an era to another. O community of Christians, I swear by Allah the One, the Almighty, who created jinn from a flame of fire and created the human being from clay as earthly pottery, who perceives all vision and vision cannot perceive him, who has prepared hellfire to the disbelievers and paradise for the righteous. Indeed, what you name it with the 10th planet Nibiru, planet X, Surely it is a fact upon the actual reality with not a thing of doubt nor suspicion in it. It comes to earth from the extremities of it and so it reduces of the humans after each far long time from one era to another. But this time it will get closer than the one before. In order to occur with it, a condition from the major conditions of the hour. So the night precedes the daylight because of the planet Hellfire Passage. So be warned of Allah's severe punishment, O community of whom they said Allah took a son. I am the awaited Mahdi, the believer in the Torah book and the gospel book and the Grand Quran. And I only call you to resort for judgment to the Grand Quran, to the fact it is guarded from alteration and falsification. Don't you see that it is a, it is a one copy among the worlds, confirming with the word of Allah the Most High? Surely we have revealed the reminder, and surely we are its guardian. Truthful Allah the Great, Al Hijr. And for, the, that, and for that people find it same one copy among the worlds where a one word did not change in it. Isn't this a sign of ratification upon the actual reality to the word of Allah the Most High? Surely we have revealed the reminder and surely we are its guardian. So what makes Muhammad messenger of Allah, prayer of, forgive, of Allah's forgiveness and peace be a upon him and his family to know that the humans would never change a thing in Allah's book, the Grand Quran, were it not that it is sent from the Lord of the worlds, knower of the unseen, who promised in protecting it from alteration and falsification till judgment day and has passed more than a thousand and four hundred years while not one word changed in it. That is a miracle for the Grand Quran that Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, prayer, forgiveness, and peace be upon him and his family, received it from the wise, the all-knowing. Allah made the Quran a comprehensive message to mankind and jinn altogether, and an, ex and an encyclopedia of the books of the prophets and messengers and the reference for the Torah and the gospel and the prophetic sunnah. So what was contrary to the, to the decisive Grand Quran in the Torah or the Gospel or the Prophetic Sunnah, you should know that it is from other than Allah, from alteration and falsification of Satan's, the hu of Satan's from the humans and application to the command of Al-Taqut, the biggest outcast Satan, Angel Harut. And he was from the jinn. So he transgressed the commandment of his Lord and his host is Marut, who was from the angels and became a human in all respects. And Allah made him a Khalifa after Adam and granted him the message messages, but he withdraws himself from it. And so Satan made him to follow him. So do not let Satan and his host seduce you. Surely they see from from where you do not see them. Indeed, they are in the land of Al-Anam, in where your parents, Eve and Adam, were. In it is fruits and palms having sheathed clusters and grain with its husk and fragrance from beneath your feet inside your earth. In the earth's tunnel in it, clear signs and gardens and sweet-smelling plants, grapes and pomegranates, 
In it are goodly, beautiful ones. Its castles are of silver and its doors of its castles are of gold. And it is Allah's garden inside your earth. And its Lord is Allah and not the liar, Messiah, Antichrist. And it is the land of Babylon in the book and you do not encompass knowledge of it. And it is the land of Al-Anam, the plentiful that Allah created in it, Eve, Hawa, and Adam, that Allah said about it in the decisive book. And the land he has set it for Al-Anam, the plentiful. Therein is fruit and palms and hanging clusters, and the grain with its husk and plants and with fragrance? Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Truthful Allah the Great, Al-Rahman. It is Allah's garden and it is not Allah's garden that is in the heaven. In fact, it is Allah's garden underneath the ground satisfies the human by having one single grape from the clusters of its grape for the big size of it and the good taste of it surely in it there are wonderful signs and for that allah the most high said to his prophet prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family we know indeed that what they say grieves you for surely they give not you the lie but the wrongdoers give the lie to Allah's messages. And messengers indeed were rejected before you, but they were patient when rejected and persecuted until our help came to them. And there is none to change the words of Allah, and there has already come to you some information about the messengers. And if their turning away is hard on you, then bring them a sign. And if Allah pleased, he would certainly have gathered them all to guidance. So be not of the ignorant. Only those accept who listen. And as for the dead, Allah will raise them. Then to him they will be returned. And they say, why has not a sign been sent down to him from his Lord? Say, surely Allah is able to send down a sign, but most of them know not truthful Allah the Great Al Anam. Do you know why Allah the Most High said, And if the turning away is hard on you, then if you can seek a tunnel into the earth or a ladder into the heaven to bring them a sign? Truthful Allah the Great, that's because there is a garden for Allah in the earth and a garden in the heaven at Sidra tree. The final point. And Allah did not make his Khalifa Adam forgiveness and peace be upon him a Khalifa in the garden of abode at the Sidra tree. The final point. In fact, Allah's Khalifa in the land of Al-Anam and it is Allah's garden and it is Allah's garden underneath the ground and it has two Easts from two opposite facing sides. And the furthest distance in the earth is the one between the two Easts. That's because the sun rises on it from the two gates. That's because the earth is opened in the extremities and hollow for that Allah the Most High said, and if the turning away is hard on you, then if you can, seek a tunnel into the earth. Truthful Allah the Great. That's in order to bring them with the signs from it of its grapes and its palms and its pomegranates. So they see it as a wonderful sign they have not seen it ever in their lives. The sun rises on it from the two gates and not in the same time at once. In fact, it rises on it from the south gate. So the rays of the sun penetrates until its rays gets out from the north gate. 
So do you know why? That's because Allah had spread it smoothly and furnished it with vegetation, confirming with the word of Allah the Most High and the earth we have spread it out, how well we prepared it. Truthful Allah the Great, al dahriyat So if one of you stood in the northern gate, surely he will see the sun in its remote rise by the south gate due to its leveled surface. So no crookedness nor unevenness to shield the sun from him. So it is leveled from the southern east till the northern east. And the farthest distance in this earth is the one between the two gates. For that the human being wished that between him and his associate Satan, the far distance of the two easts. And Allah the Most High said, until when he comes to us, he says, oh, with that between me and you, there were the distance, the far distance of the two easts. So evil is his associate. Truthful Allah the Great, al zukhruf That's because the sunrise shines on the land of comfort and plenty, Al-Anam, from the two facing sides. So if the sun set from it, from the southern gate, surely it rises on it in the same moment from the gate that faces it. And and the people whom are in it, Allah did not make for them shelter from it. Because if it sate away from them of the southern gate, it rose on them in the same moment. If it sat away from them in the southern gate, it rose from on them in the same moment, the gate that faces it in the uh, earthly tunnel indeed the land of the great tunnel therein is from allah's wonderful signs confirming with the word of allah the most high and if the turning away is hard on you then if you can seek a tunnel into the earth or a ladder to heaven to bring them a sign truthful allah the great al-anam and Allah did not speak to his messenger except with the truth that there is for Allah a garden in the heavens and a garden in the earthly tunnel beneath the soil. And all of them is for Allah alone, confirming with the word of Allah the Most High. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth and whatever is between them and whatever is beneath the soil. Truthful Allah the Great, TH. And for that Allah the Most High said, and if their turning away is hard on you, then if you can, seek a tunnel into the earth. Truthful Allah the Great. That's because your earth has a ho hollow tunnel that penetrates the earth, stretching in through its interior and exiting through its extremities, the north and south, and the sunrise shines on it from the southern gate, so it sets away from the southern gate, and then it rises in the same moment from the northern gate. And since it is a tunnel land, spread and leveled, therefore you find the sun rays penetrate the interior of your earth until it exit the, exits the gate it, that faces as you watch it this true picture upon the actual reality, confirming with the word of Allah the Most High. And if their turning away is hard on you, if you can, seek a tunnel into the earth, truthful Allah the Great, as you see the truth with science of knowledge and logic upon the actual reality, ratification to the signs of the book, remembrance for those of understanding minds. And I am the Imam Mahdi, 
inviting scholars of the Christians to the dialogue at the site of the awaited Mahdi website of the Imam Nasser Muhammad al-Yemeni as honored guests at the Global Dialogue Table, www.the-greatnews.com. Uh, two other URLs, www.nasser-yamani.com and www.mahdi-aluma.com. To resort for arbitration to the Torah, Gospel, and the Quran, except what is contrary to the decisive Grand Quran in the Torah or in the Gospel or in the prophetic Sunnah that the Muslims have. Surely it is distortion and falsification of the outcast Satan through his loyal friends of the human Satans, whom they show belief and conceal disbelief. And that's indeed for you to know that the awaited Mahdi does not disbelieve in the Torah and the gospel, nor in the true sunnah of Allah's messenger. I only disbelieve in what is contrary to the decisive grand Quran, whether it is in the Torah or the gospel or the prophetic sunnah. And peace be upon the messengers and praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. O community of the best foremost supporters from various Islamic doctrines, whom they announce they're joining the most guided of the banners at all, that is the banner of the Imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad al-Yemeni. I command you all together to send this statement of mine to all sites of the Christians and give them the good news in coming of Allah's Messenger, the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. Forgiveness and peace be upon him and his mother and family of Imran and many salutations. Indeed, the, Mess the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, is an honorable guest upon you, O community of the Yemeni people. Surely he is with you in the peace arch, the casket of tranquility, and you shall know that indeed we are truthful. Your brother, the Imam Mahdi Nasr Muhammad al-Yemeni. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching the video.